Hello everybody, Anthony Dodge, the Mercury Outsider, the Model Train Outsider, here with the Fall New Items 2023 by Mericlean. This includes HO, Z, and their one new edition. So let's get straight to it. We're going to start off with a crazy little car, uh, the Viva Magenta car, which is celebrating Pantone's uh, car color of the year, which was 181750 Viva Magenta. Pantone, if you don't know, is the company internationally for color matching. Whatever you're doing, you want to match colors. There are other companies out there, but they're kind of like the biggest company. Most of your paint companies go to them for color matching technology and so forth. Use them and their color coding system. Well, Merklin is honoring them because Merklin works with them and is doing a car. And every year, Pantone announces color of the year and this one is viva magenta i don't know you guys tell me how you'd feel about that car i it, it, it's either so funky i would buy it or it's too funky and i wouldn't buy it i really don't know how i feel about it so let's go on from there all right as always after they show off their one special product they go into the um dealership ones the mhi the merklin dealers Merklin Händler Initiative, Merklin Dealers Initiative. These are cars that only members of the MHI program can sell. Model Bonshop Lippa doesn't sell these. It is a Class 360 diesel locomotive, a switching shunting locomotive. Uh, they're still around, not as many, but there's still a few of them out there. And this one is coming pre-weathered along with all the functions. It's got Merklin's top decoder in it. And to go along with it, they're releasing some weathered stock to drag along with it so that you can put together a little consist. But again, only shops that are MHI can get these. Now, in America, several companies are. Merklin is also repackaging a starter set, which their Christmas commercial is going to feature, and they're really targeting this at kids, although the price may be prohibited for kids. Uh, this is celebrating the 70th anniversary since Merklin made their first model of the Class 89 steam locomotive. Now, the Class 89 was built in the 30s, and um, Merklin first made it in 1953 as a model, and so 70 years of the model, and they're going to use this as a starter set. Now, the list price is 269 euros, but that usually translates to dollars in the United States, $269 in the United States. And that sounds a hefty price for something you're targeting for young kids. You know, most parents aren't going to go out and spend, but, you know, that much money for a starter train set. But, the, you know, the Class 89 is a small locomotive, another switching shunting locomotive in some ways, or small haul uh, locomotive, 060. But it's small hands, compact, not a lot of heavy-duty detail on it, but it's not a cheap locomotive either. And you get some nice cars, but you're getting... A nice loop of Merklin C track, which is not cheap. You're getting the Mobile Station 2, which is about $110 by itself, plus the power pack for it, which is another $30, $40. So half the price is just in the track and the uh, controller. And you're still getting a quality uh, locomotive and some nice, you know, a small rake of uh, freight cars to go with it. And in picture again. We got this uh, set of passenger cars. There's three set of these. These are double linked and they come as two cars joined together, but they're permanently joined. You cannot separate these two cars. And then you join them with another set, but these come lit. These are gonna be rather expensive. Uh, from what I understand, these are carriage cars that were repurposed into passenger cars. Uh, it's Era 3. There's a couple of locomotives that they specifically uh, will recommend you run these with, but uh, this was, again, Era 3 right after the war, so they repurposed things just to make up for all the stock destroyed in the war. And uh, I forget if it's Fowler or Fulmer has a um, signal box that also goes uh, with the, the s you buy it separately. But there's this whole theme and layout they're kind of building that works with this, where they're giving you a lot of the pieces and buildings with it. Okay, now a set of... Um, Era 4 and 5 freight. First of all, we got the second half of a Volkswagen consist from Era 4. These container cars uh, that are carrying parts, whether it's raw parts being sent to the factory at Wolfsburg or if it's 
um, parts being sent to auto parts dealers and repair shops for um, Volkswagen cars. But you get these, and they're kind of nice. I actually like these. And if you look at the rake below, you'll see the um, car set, the, the auto rack trailers that they um, announced at the beginning of the year have already been released. But kind of cool. I kind of like them. And they actually would not look weird on my layout because Wolfsburg is on the same east-west line as Bremen and Hanover. In fact, it's Bremen, Hanover, Braunschweig, Wolfsburg, Magdeburg, Berlin. Okay, these I actually saw for the first time this past trip in Germany. They're, they're from the 70s, but they're still around, although they definitely don't look like this. Uh, but your uh, limestone tub cars. I actually think these are kind of cool. Um, I just don't know if they would fit in my layout, and it's technically the wrong era, but again, they're still around. And then these would fit, and we actually saw these. I guess they were selling them, even though they haven't announced them until now. They actually had these for sale, unless it was an older run. But I think it was this set. But these um, coal hoppers, hinged roof hoppers. Uh, and I wouldn't mind a rake of these, specifically Era 6, without the rail ion on it, because rail ion really has reduced its... Um, I don't even know if it's around anymore. Somebody can clarify. But I do like this coloring and I do like this style to create a whole train of just these or mixed with these and a couple of others. Whoops. Okay, the weirdest one. Uh, and I really want your opinion on these, how you feel about this. Merklin is releasing what they call catalog cars. And basically, they're taking very basic um, freight box cars rounded roof box cars, really low budget ones. If you look at the actual detailing on these cars, it's not that well done. This is like their lowest end stuff, but they are putting the covers of every yearly catalog on these cars. So they're starting off with two, 1929 and 1930, and then they'll be 31, 32, 33, and they'll come up to the present time over the next how many years? Now, what's really interesting, and you can read it there, but they were talking about how the way it's put on, it's embossed, it's perf not perforated, it's done in a 3D style. So when as you look at it, it really stands out. I just don't know if, I'm sure there are people that love the catalogs, but how many people are actually going to buy this entire 100 years worth of catalogs or you know 80 years of catalogs? Uh, cars down the road because you're not going to run 80 cars on your train. It's going to be something you'd put on display as a collection. I know catalogs are extremely popular, but catalog cars, I'm sure a few people think this is cool and buy it. Overall, I don't know, but the way they've done it's really cool. These look gorgeous if you get past how very plasticky molded the basic shell is, but what they've done on the shell is impressive. The coloring and the fact that they've made it a 3D look, this embossed, buffered out um, setup. Okay, now uh, at the beginning of the year, they, they announced a couple of Danish uh, Era 3 famous Danish steamer and then the Nohab uh, diesel locomotive from Era 4 and 5. And they announced some freight to go with it. They're adding to it. So here's some nice Danish freight. Jean Ricard, I'm looking at you. Let me know how you feel about this. I think this is kind of cool. Nice little rake. It's one set, I'm sure, with this many cars. It's going to be 180 to the $220 range or 180 to 200 euro range. Um, we'll see. But I think it's okay. Just not my era. And then a big, powerful Era 6 Swiss locomotive. Very nicely detailed, lots of functions, very sharp. Uh, I'm a little tired of green. I mean, even in this, we've seen a lot of green, and we're going to see more. Just doesn't stand out to me. And they're releasing a rake of, um, I'm sure this will be about 100 to $120, maybe higher, of um, these container car flatbeds for the Swiss rails. And then the shocker. Now, you may remember back when I did in January the um, the new items for 2023, the whole year outlook. 
Merrick Lynn announced they were doing a couple of versions of a Union Pacific ES-44. There was this one, the Building America livery, and then the standard livery here. I mean, there's really not a lot of difference, and the basic coloring is the same between the two locomotives. Now, some Americans and Germans that like American stock have said these were not as well detailed as the top level Athern and Bachmann and Atlas stuff. And that if Merklin's gonna to try to get in on the American market, they need to step up the game. But I still consider getting one of these uh, just if it came up. And then Merklin shocked us all. I don't know, maybe I'm the only one shocked. They're doing another ES-44, which isn't that shocking, I guess, because once you've got the basic outline, it's just changed the spray. But they're doing Kansas City Southern. I find this amazing. Of all the locomotives at Kansas City Southern, people are after CSX. They're after, but this is so striking. This is the one, if I was going to get one, I'm suddenly leaning towards this one, not to mention it's got German flag colors, also Belgian and five other countries, uh, the black, the red, and the yellow gold. Um, it, it's very cool. Look at the model. Again, I don't know how well detailed it is compared to top end Atherns, and this isn't going to be cheap, but it's not going to be nearly as expensive. And Merklin is doing this not to necessarily jump into the American market, but because both Americans who do three rail, like me, although, and then the German guys that do three rail who like American stock. Merklin's the only people who are going to produce it. Every now and then, Roco or Pico will put something that's American out. But for the most part, or you got to find something old in Lima, and even they ten didn't tend to do three rail with their American stuff. But all that aside, um, I feel like Merklin is putting a big push to get more modern era American product out there. And I'm sure there's going to be a couple of more liveries of the ES-44 since they've established it. If you're going to do Kansas City Southern, CSX and Conrail or whoever else, because I think the ES-44 is used in several companies. But uh, be that as it may, I just find that livery striking. That's what appeals to me. And you get a big rake of coal hoppers. This will be expensive, but you're getting a whole rake of them to add on to this. And... Uh, but again, if you already got a rake of coal hoppers or you can get a cheap set that you like better, they'll work on the Merklin system. Merklin stuff, these Merklin coal hoppers will not work on your two rail system. It'll short it out, but your two rail stuff can come. You might need to change the wheels out. But overall, it's doable. It's easier to go from two rail to three rail with rolling stock, not locomotives. All right. And lastly, in the HO world, the Christmas stuff specifically. Uh, after years of people complaining to Merklin, Merklin has finally issued a new Christmas locomotive, and here it is. It's a Class 89, and it's built on the same chassis as that 89 I showed you from the starter set, just a different top on it, a different shell on it, or a modified shell compared to the previous one, uh, but probably easy enough to do. I love the coloring on it. It just looks um, a little too kitty not in terms of how it's um built just it doesn't look realistic enough i i do love my class 01 big christmas one if you've ever seen it on my layout I, in fact i just ran it on a live stream two weeks ago or three weeks ago but it's nice some people say finally americans released another ho christmas locomotive and of course that means a christmas car and this is maybe the weirdest thing of everything they announced this is an acid car. Now, I know Merklin takes just general stock. They take old Aero 1 passenger cars and, and um, freight cars, and they just stick a Christmas color and scheme on them and say, ta-da, they've done it with tankers as well. But this is an acid car, and this may be the weirdest. And I've seen Merklin Christmas cars going all the way back to the 1950s and 60s, and this one takes it, and I think it may have been produced before, but this is the weirdest one I've seen. Acid cars, but then they paint them gold to make them look like Christmas bulbs, even though it still calls it an acid car. Just really weird. What does Santa need with all that acid? Um, but Joyce and I will probably still buy it. We will still buy it. 
All right, so let's see what's going on with Z-Scale. This was the small scale until T-Scale came out a few years ago. Merklin invented Z-Scale. And we start off with a very nice Class 221 and um, freight car set that's coming out. And this is the MHI. So this stuff probably won't be available to well after Christmas. This is end of the year. Um, you probably wouldn't be able to get these until January or February. Maybe I'm wrong, but this is Z-Scale. But look at the detail now in Z-Scale. It's really come so far. It's a Class 221 and some container cars. Not my era, not my coloring. Looks 270s to me, and I do love the modern. And another similar, those same cars I was talking about earlier in HO scale, they've shortened them down to N scale, and they're putting an entire train together. You get all three car sets in, in Z scale, I think I just said N, Z scale, with a class 140 locomotive, and you can even get a tanker car with the Brakeman's house on it. Um, all lit up, very nice, just way too much green again. And lastly, you get a um, class 212 diesel, and uh, a set of um, flatbed hoppers and um, you know in this case carrying gravel and this all comes together as a, a train set it's all one set in Z scale it's Westerwald which is very known in my part of Germany that I tend to be connected with the Westerwald all right, so now let's go to, oh, I'm sorry, there's the ES64 and then that uh, funky Viva Magenta car again. And ES64 is what you hear me often refer to on my live streams as a Taurus, very common in Austria, but they're in Germany as well. But they're called ES64s in some other countries as well, MRC. I, I do like that livery on it. And again, amazing detail in Z-Scale. Now let's go up. To the big guys after the christmas this is the z scale christmas which comes on its own little ornament you can hang on the tree and the car fits in front of it i'd rather that be the car they were releasing in ho scale than that acid train bauble stuff but be that as me now for the third time i'll get it right this time one scale this is the big stuff and usually for the fall catalog there's going to be one piece of freight or passenger car and one locomotive. So here you go. It's a low side with lumber on it. Very realistic lumber, very impressive with that. But let's look at the locomotive. It is quite stunning. This is a Swiss Kofferli. Kofferli means a uh, small suitcase. Um, can also mean small trunk because of Koffer, but it's suitcase. Uh, but be that as it may, the video, and I'll try to link it below, this thing is gorgeous. And I don't like the shape, the design of the locomotive. I don't care for the era and it's Swiss and it's green. All the things I've been talking about, not my interest, not to knock Swiss trains, just outside the Glacier Express, I really have no interest in Swiss trains, maybe the Giruno. But anyhow, they are weathering this. It is a class six slash eight with 32 functions, uh, but they're, weathering it for winter but the detail they put in it and again you have to see the video it was amazing the lighting system on it the snow effects they're putting on that the ice the, the snow everything it was amazing this is a beautiful model even though it's the shape of it you know the the style of locomotive is nothing i'm into it's just uh, it's not my era but man the the, the detail, the design efforts they put into it and all the little nuances to it were really cool. So it's one of those, it's everything I'm not into in a locomotive and yet it's gorgeous. That's how I've changed in model trains. I can suddenly look at something that I would have five years ago said, that's it. I don't even want to think about it. But the detailing in it is amazing and the, the ice and the snow, just watch the video if you can. There is an English version. And then lastly, for one scale, they now have these elaborate on-the-wall display plaque cases that you can do that would make it look like museum pieces or something like that, that explain the train and uh, give you a fancy display for it when you're not running it on your layout. 
All right, so that was a very quick attempt at the fall catalog without going into too much detail. A couple of cool surprises there. I really like that ES44 in the Kansas City Southern livery. I don't know why. It just struck me as pretty cool. So now it's like, would I, if I were to get an American, would I get the um, Union Pacific Building America and the Patriotic and more common and the Freak? freight or passenger cars that they released to go with it because those are just hitting the stores now or do i get that kansas city southern where the livery is just a little cooler anyhow um let me know what stuck uh struck you what stuck out to you and until pico and roco do their uh fall releases if they do i'm going to end this video and say i'll be there zane choose and happy trains take care everybody